Well, the clock is counting down the hours for Teresa Lewis. She is set to become the first woman executed in Virginia in nearly a century. Ten in your size, Jason Marks, is live at the Greensville Correctional Center in Jarrett, where Lewis is scheduled to die in about three hours. Jason? And Tom, right now, Lewis could be having her final meal. She requested fried chicken, sweet peas, and a Dr. Pepper. All of her appeals have been denied, and right now, she has no more options. I need a On the Save Teresa Lewis website, she sings her favorite song, I Need a Miracle. In this case, it'll have to be a last-second miracle. Lewis received the death penalty after hiring two men to kill her husband and stepson in 2002 in Pennsylvania County. She was hoping to cash in on her son's life insurance policy. Prosecutors said she used sex and cash to pay off the two men. Media from all over the state is here at the Greensville Correctional Center in Jarrett. Both the U.S. Supreme Court and Governor Bob McDonald have decided not to step in and stop the execution. There hasn't been a woman executed in Virginia since 1912. That is set to change tonight when 41-year-old Teresa Lewis is given lethal injection. Her kids are her life. Her kids is what she lived for. Her friends, her family, that's what she was there for. Another of her sons says he stands by his mom. We're told she's meeting with her family today for possibly the last time. And along with her family today, we're told that she also met with her minister. They're all gone, and the victims' families have now arrived, Tom. They'll be there tonight to watch the execution. All right, of course, we'll be updating this on Wavy News 10 at 11. Thank you, Jason. Yep. Well, Governor McDonald has denied Lewis's request for clemency. Earlier this week, the U.S. Supreme Court also refused to block her execution. By the way, only 11 women to date have been executed in the U.S., since capital punishment was reinstated in 1976.